everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we are back with another aew unrivaled action figure review on the brand new ringside exclusive aew unrivaled coffin drop darby allen figure now this is a ringside exclusive so if you guys want to obtain this figure you're gonna have to go over to ringside collectibles wrestlingfigures.com and use promo code mdtoys to save yourselves 10 percent when shopping over there you can pick up on other aew figure exclusives any aew unrivaled or match products weapon packs entrance stage all that good stuff man go over to wrestlingfigures.com use promo code mdtoys to save yourselves 10 percent now this is one of those that kind of dropped out of nowhere on us i remember having like a little leak out there right like i thought i think we saw something like coffin drop darby allen and everybody was wondering what in the hell that was going to be well brad here it is in the flesh in front of our screens right here you guys can see here like this is a pretty big box here's my hand up next to it my hands are bigger than a regular man's hands i'd say so you guys could just see how big this box is i have a sting figure for reference and and here's Sting up next to the box. So you guys can see, it's like two and a half Stings. So it's pretty diggum tall. So the box is really cool. You know, AEW with the ringside exclusives is always trying that. I do apologize that I don't have a really collected nice shot of the packaging here. Like even scooting my camera back and changing the perspective. I mean, this thing is huge, bro. It's a, it's a really big box. Nonetheless, we are going to get into it. I think this is a really cool box. It's very tall. It reminds me a lot of the little bit of the bubbly ringside exclusive AEW Jericho. Nonetheless, man, let's dive into the packaging. Now you guys will notice that the box is obviously shaped like a coffin, hence the, the finishing move of Darby Allen, the coffin drop. So it only makes sense that his box was in the shape of a coffin. You guys will notice on the front of the packaging, it does have nothing's over till you are underground. This is, of course, Darby Allen's chest tattoo. Right here in the middle, you do have this, like, wrap around the packaging. AEW logo with the red ringside exclusive, and it does spin around, and it's taped in the back right here. On the back of the packaging, you also get this wicked shot of Darby, and you do have his signature right here. Now, this is taped right here, so, like, this will not slide down. On the back, you do get another ringside exclusive logo, the AEW logo and you know all the good information stuff and then on the side of the packaging you do get these nice floral rose type designs you know kind of mimicking a coffin designs around the sides and then he does have number 71 down here i did not know it was numbered didn't even really realize that so that's pretty cool anyways man that pretty much wraps up the packaging for this coffin drop ring set exclusive darby allen so without that being said man let's crack him out of his packaging and find out what this darby is all about and here is Darby Allen out of his packaging, man. Liking what we got so far, you know, Darby Allen's figures are some of the best that AEW and Jazzwares has made already, man. Every single Darby Allen figure that we get, it's just a gem. It's just a treat. I don't know if it's just because he's so, you know, he's kind of a smaller guy. His figures feel immaculate in the hand. You get some great details. There's a lot going on with him. He is very toyetic, as they like to say, right? So Darby Allen is like the Jeff Hardy of, well, I guess, well, now I guess I can't say that. He's very similar to Jeff Hardy in that he's crazy extreme. He's very toyetic. Tattoos, face paint, crazy as hell. Really cool accessories. Lots of things going on with his gear. So I'm sure that we're going to get a trillion AEW Unrivaled Darby Allen figures, which I'm all here for, man. I'm a big Darby Allen guy, so this works out for me. Nonetheless, man, here's the figure out of the packaging. What we're going to do is go ahead and cover his accessories, and then we'll dive into Darby Allen himself and take a look at some comparisons. Now, before getting into the accessories, guys, I just want to show this coffin box off a little bit. You do get some, like, roses and flowers going on on the inside in black, and then you do have this nice like Darby Allen inscription on the side right here like he's inside the coffin and he you know scratched his name into the side of it which I think is a really nice detail so there it comes like that and you can close it like so and there's no tape just that red thing holding this together so to unbox it you'll literally open it up like so pull off the top and you do have like the wood grain on the inside of the coffin so a lot of detail put into this I think it's absolutely beautiful this is the stuff that collectors go crazy for like if you go buy a pair of sneakers the box is a part of that experience man I think a lot of people forget about that like when you're unboxing shoes and special edition stuff this is part of what you're paying for you're paying for the really cool box you're paying for that experience and the details and stuff like that of opening it up and looking at all the details that they put into it so i think that's a forgotten part of collecting and i i definitely tip the cap to jazzwares jeremy and the whole design team over there because this is making collecting a lot more fun man this is just a breath of fresh air i love this box i think they did a great job on it let's get into the accessories now, getting into the Darby Allen's accessories, bro, this this comes with some insane stuff. I think you get plenty of what the price point is asking for, including that box, including all these different accessories and the details and stuff that you get. I think the price point is pretty much worth it. So, getting into it, man, starting out with the best accessory in the set has to be this cloth accessible body bag accessory, man. You guys can see it has the black color going all around. You do get these, like, whole, I'm guessing these are handles, you know, like, so you can hold it, like, a bunch of people can hold it up, or you could pull it 
it or you can do all these different things but you do have this nice long velcro stuff holding it together and that's pretty cool i think a zipper would have been pretty cool as well but i do understand it really quick to do you know you just stick it together real quick and there it is you can put the figure in there you can uh, of course open it up and i think it fits pretty much every standard sized figure i don't think that you know here's a darby allen over here this is the other darby allen and he fits in there really really well so you know you can just close that up and he's in there and then you know i, I could get like a bigger guy too if you guys want who's the biggest aew figure so far maybe luchasaurus so here's luchasaurus let's see if he'll fit in here it's very tight fit yeah he fits so you can fit the smallest figure and you can fit the bigger figure so i think that you'd have no problems with that so cody kenny the bucks all those different guys will definitely fit taking luchasaurus out right there this is sick this is a beautiful accessory these are the things that we love to see i would love to see more cloth goods like this in the main line and not just exclusives getting into our next accessory you have the rubber jacket now i think on the last episode of the major wrestling figure podcast matt cardona was talking about accessories like rubber jacket accessories and i'm probably going to plug that clip in every single time now to explain these rubber accessories and i'll try to do that right now but like oh my god that goddamn fucking old school mattel stuck in that pose jacket i just think that's hilarious bro holy crap that made me like just cackle out loud when i heard that but it is the rubber jacket we've seen this with darby allen multiple times i don't think anything has changed you have like some dirt you have some dirt detail and some zipper detail but nothing outside of that we also have his beautiful skateboard. Now, this is the shape of a coffin like we discussed. It has like a Nosferatu kind of vibe going on right there. You got like the Darby Allen sort of like half face paint, half not. I don't think that's supposed to be Darby Allen. I guess it would make sense, but he does have dark hair instead of the blonde. Got the half face paint, got the white wheels on there. Very cool. You guys know this is our third different skateboard now, I think, in the collection. Not including chases, of course. But this is a really nice accessory to ride to the ring. Now, I will pop an ollie real quick. I think in every Darby Allen review, we've tried to make a trick at some point. So I have a little bit of tech deck experience. There's a little bit of one. Woo wee! Yeah, definitely enjoy myself with this. Now, getting in the head sculpts, man, starting out first, we do have the serious skin. I love the face paint on this. I think it looks really good. I love the blonde hair as well. I think it has more of a whitish blonde or a really platinum-looking blonde here, which I really like. I think it looks great. This is the Series 3 head sculpt, just repainted, of course. And then we do have the grimacing head sculpt from the Unmatched series. So you get two different looks here, both of his different looks that we have seen so far. I like them both. I think they look great. I love the face paint on both. It looks consistent on both sides. So that is what we love to see with the Darby Allens. I think these look great might have to get an extra one of these figures i know i definitely have to get a mock version but i may want to get an extra version just to have both head sculpts on display we'll see about that you know you get an extra body bag extra skateboard lots of cool things but i, I like the head sculpts man i think you get some great accessories with these guys i don't have any problems with any of it all right, man, so starting out at the top of the head sculpt, we already took a look at it. Not going to spend a ton of time on it, but I do like the way that the face paint flows down into the body paint here. Now, we have seen multiple body paints from Darby. You do have this, like, black background with the skeleton showing through. Very common of Darby Allen. It is very different from his other ones that we've seen so far. You have his beautiful sleeve tattoo. Now, I know that he has, like, a full sleeve now. Like, he has his inner biceps done, his forearms, his wrists. Like, all of this is tattooed now, so I'd like to see our next Darby to have all of this, like, completely covered his full tattoo tattoo sleeve all those different things another thing is you guys notice how like he has his super black dark body paint and then like kind of a realistic looking tone to his tattoos i feel like this could be darker because i feel like it's not that light like it has like a light brown look i don't feel like that's very accurate i'd like to see that updated and look a bit more realistic a bit darker and stuff he does have his hand tat and he actually does have drug free on both sides so he's not missing anything he has his black nail polish which is very good you have your black shorts which look great you got your studded belt rips in the shorts which has great sculpt to it. You have your black leggings. You have your solid black leggings and of course the signature Darby Allen boots. Now this figure is a Darby Allen, right? It's a Darby Allen figure. We all know that. Darby Allen's figures feel some of the best in hand, man. Like they just pose around really well. He can do like the craziest split C in the world. Like this, this guy can pose around with the best of them. Name another figure that can just do that with ease. He just feels great in the hand. You got the double joint arms, double jointed knees, great neck like up and down with that ball hinge. So I mean, dude, the, the Darby Allen figures are just unreal. They are 
unreal. I love them. Now, here's all our three regular release Darby Allens so far. That doesn't include chases, of course. You have the ringside exclusive coffin drop in the middle. You have the Series 3 Unrivaled and the Series 1 Unmatched. I love all three of them in their own ways. Of course, this one is missing the drug tattoo on his right hand. And this one is missing the sleeve tattoo. So, honestly, this one's probably the most accurate because it has all of his tattoos and stuff. Of course, you could easily do a hand swap. It's nothing like really changing that. But if you guys want to see what these different bodies look like on these different bottoms, let's go ahead and look at that. So here's the Coffin Drop Darby on the Unmatched Series 1 shorts. So he's got like his little heart logo deal and like some different white paint going on. Kind of, you know, creates like a new fix-up style if you guys would like that. And then here's the Coffin Drop exclusive on the Unrivaled Series 3 shorts. So you get the gray and the black wash going over there. You know, it's not a lot of differences, but it's very subtle, you know. If I wanted to do a big Darby Allen collection like I have my Jeff Hardys, then this would be some options for me to head swap and do things like that to mix them all up together. So, yeah, I guess you could try that as well. So here's the, of course, the, the Reese exclusive head. And then you could take your Series 3 Unrivaled and put that on here. Now, look, you have a whole brand new figure just popping parts together. Then you take that head off and you can pop the Unmatched on there. So now, this Darby looks completely new. You have the Unmatched Series 1 head, the Ringside Exclusive torso and arms, and then you have the Unrivaled Series 3 bottom. So that's what makes AEW figures really, really awesome. And then for your Darby Allen Ringside Exclusive Coffin Drop Figure Comparison, here he is with his mentor Sting, the Walmart Exclusive Luminaries Collection Sting, with the half Darby Allen face paint. So that's pretty cool right there. I like this a lot, man. Seeing these up next to each other, you think we're gonna eventually get one of them turning heel on the other and having like a big Sting versus Darby Allen match where Darby gets put over by Sting? I think that's probably what we're gonna get eventually. So there's Darby Allen and Sting. But I think that pretty much wraps up this AEW Unrivaled Ringside Exclusive Cuff and Drop Darby Allen figure review, man. I had a ton of fun reviewing the figure. I think it's fantastic. Now, I do think that the accessories alone are probably worth it, right? I think the body bag is insane. I don't think we've ever gotten a body bag accessory with a wrestling figure for sure. I don't know if we have ever seen something like that. You guys can let me know if that's if that has changed. I know we've gotten coffins before. We've seen gravestones. We've seen shovels and things of that nature. But a body bag that's clawed, man, unbelievable accessory. Like, this may be one of the best accessories of the year. It may be the accessory of the year. We'll probably do a special My Damn Thoughts episode where we cover the figures of the year and, you know, break down everything and do the best accessory of the year, the worst figure, the worst set, the best set, the best figure, worst figure, best accessory, best head, all those different things. We're probably going to do that at the end of the year. This is probably going to be up there, man. I love this accessory. I think it's really fun. You can do a lot of creative things with it. Great for display. I love the coffin-shaped skateboard. I love the packaging. This Darby is really sick, and I think if you don't have any other Darby, this is a perfect Darby to grab, and you get the sick stuff to come with it, so that is definitely a plus. But anyways, man, that is going to wrap up this video. Again, if you guys would like to grab this, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. I do believe this figure is in stock. Yeah, I do believe it's still in stock, but thank you guys for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and don't cross the line, or you'll end up in a coffin. Cross the line, I've been